Hi, hello everyone. Uh, welcome again in our series of Azure DevOps Learning. So in today's short video, I am going to explain the usage of rollup column in Azure DevOps. So I am sharing the Scrum project 2023, which I have set up in the Azure DevOps Labs. It's a sample project. And uh, from the left, if we click on the overview, we can get the details about the project that we have set up and configured. Now, in order to understand the rollup columns, so what we have to do is if we bring the mouse to the boards and click on the backlogs, so we can see what all is defined in this project's backlog as of today. So it consists of uh, three epics, and we can also see it using the filter. If I see the epic, so it gives me a list of three epics the very first is user management, online payments, and customer reports. Now, if I clear this one, so user management epic consists of a feature user login online payments epic consists of four features uh, payment through debit card payment through credit card payment through net banking payment through wallets and customer reports epic consists of uh, two features history report and the cancellation report now uh, there could be a scenario where we want to track the progress of a feature like how much that feature has been completed because when we take the user stories in a sprint, the commitment is that the team will be able to complete the user story as a whole. But the feature may consist of you know n number of user stories. So in order to track the progress by feature, we can utilize the rollup columns uh, feature. So what we have to do is we have to click on the column options. And uh, if we click on add a rollup column, so here from quick list, we can see progress by product backlog item progress by product backlog item is nothing but progress by user story we can add another rollup column we can say count of product backlog item and if i click on ok so this is how it reflects so the very first feature that we have the user login under user management it shows like it is 33 percent done and since uh, this very first epic consists of only one feature so the progress for the epic is also at the same level and this three is basically the count of pbi so how many product backlog items are defined under the epic or under the feature so if i simply expand so we have just three pbis or three user stories under this feature as well as the epic similarly here if we see uh, this particular feature consists of two pbis this particular feature payment through credit card it also consists of two pbis so it is taking the count of pbis as four at an epic level and at a feature level it is showing like you know under this feature there are two pbis under this feature there are two pbis so this is how we can you know track the progress of a feature let's say if a feature consists of you know 10 uh, pbis or it consists of like 15 pbi so we can understand like how much percentage of work has been completed using the concept of the roll-up columns so that's all in this short video i hope you guys liked it and uh, you know if you are new to this channel please share and subscribe thank you